Now we're in Daniel chapter 5, verse 15. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me, that they should read this writing, and make known unto me the interpretation thereof, but they could not show the interpretation of the thing. Unquote. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for all the people who are listening. I ask that you would please expand this ministry into all the world. I would also ask that you would please bless the supporters of this ministry as they develop before they even reach this program. And for those that are here who haven't even thought about supporting this ministry, I ask that you would bless their way, move upon their hearts, and help them to make their decision. I thank you that I am a working minister, that I do work retail, that you keep me grounded. I see things as a working person should see things, not an ivory tower. Thank you. Please give us wisdom and knowledge and help us to understand the scriptures as we go through them and as we meditate upon them. And help us to keep one another in prayer, to love one another more, to pray for our enemies and do good to them, to take care of prayer hindrances, to become more Christ-like, to pray more to you, to listen to the Holy Spirit's teachings and be obedient. And help us to love ourselves the way we should as your creation, but in a humble way. Please give us the wisdom and knowledge we need as we go forward. And now, I'll give you a moment of silence at the end of my prayer that you may speak with us, please. In Jesus' name I ask. All right, click, click the uh, pause button if you need more time. Now reading from the Young's Little Translation. Quote, And now cause to come up before me have been the wise men, the enchanters, that this writing they may read and its interpretation to cause me to know, and they are not able to show the interpretation of the thing. Unquote. Let's go ahead and read this in the context, the paragraph that it's written in. Reading Daniel 5, verse 13 through 16, King James Version. Quote, then was Daniel brought in before the king, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Art thou that Daniel, which art of the children of the captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Jewry? I have heard of thee that the spirit of the gods is in thee, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have brought in before me that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof, but they could not show the interpretation of the thing. And I have heard of thee that thou canst make interpretations and dissolve doubts. Now if thou canst read the writing and make known to me the interpretation thereof, thou shalt be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about thy neck, and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Unquote. Now let's parse this verse out. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought, let's parse that, that is Hophel, which is passive. Very a few times as the verb parse out like this. Continuing on. It is a perfect aspect, so it's complete. So it's passive and it's complete. Continue. In before me, that they should read. Let's parse that. PL stems so because you're written. Imperfect, so not complete. Continuing. This writing. And make known. Let's parse out the Aramaic of that. It's Aphel. 
and this is a causative conjunction and the aspect of it is infinitive so just like adding an ing I'm making known okay continuing unto me the interpretation thereof but they could PL stem so casually written act of participle so to be thereof but they could not show let's go ahead and just show aphio and that is a causative conjunction the aspect is, is infinitive so ing showing the interpretation of the thing that is the parsing now i'm looking at the interlinear bible and where it says that astrologers the it's defined as con conjunct conjurers enchanters necromakers that's what it means wise men that means exactly that it means wise or wise men let's go ahead and look at John Gill's commentary on the Bible and then we're going to look at some observations and facts that we know quote and now the wise men the astrologers have been brought in before me for it seems they came not of themselves or upon hearing his loud cry but were sent for by him and came by his orders and were introduced into his presence by the proper officers that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof pointing to the writing upon the wall but they cannot show the interpretation of the thing nor even read it though it may be some of them might attempt to read it and did read it in their way as well as they could or at least pretend to read yet could make no manner of sense of it which was the thing the king was intent upon unquote. now we don't know any of that we don't know if they tried to read it if they read some of it we don't know none of that we just know that they couldn't we do know that Daniel was called in Daniel was about 90 years old at this point in time that he read the writing on this wall he knew Belshazzar was a condemned criminal he didn't talk to him about his salvation he didn't talk to him about um, an insurance policy to ask God to forgive you all sins so you can go to heaven when you die make all these sacrifices none of that he gave him exactly what God gave him Daniel was called in to give a reading and interpretation of what was written by God on the wall and he did so he did his ministry he obeyed the king he obeyed God he didn't add anything into it it wasn't his place but Shazar has had many opportunities to live right to do right he saw what happened with his grandfather he knew and he understood the history he chose to do what he's chosen to do Daniel did his ministry and that's all he did why is this in his writing why is he telling us this what is the purpose of this for the prophecies of the last days well we know that we are to do our ministry and be obedient we are given the scriptures before today which is June 2020 we could freely in all the free open countries go to church any day of the week that they had service today because of the corona 19 virus we can't because the churches are closed because they will breed infections of the virus to others so to protect others and the, pu the public from the spreading of this disease the churches are closed some of them are meeting in parking lots in people's vehicles with the windows up the doors locked and they're playing on a local FM channel or they can get it on their phone but they're still enclosed into cubicles basically so that no one can spread the virus so we don't have the service and the availability of going to church and freely worshiping like we did will this take place in the future probably but currently we have learned what it's like in our free countries in the United States of not being able to go to church because the doors are locked 
it was a very hard way to learn. So while we can, let us worship God. Let us be obedient to the Holy Spirit's teachings. Let us seek to be more Christ-like and to follow His commands. You are following verse by verse. The first time an audio commentary has been performed of the entire Bible. This was given to me by God to do it. He gave me the motivation to get my doctorate degree and pursue it in my late 40s and 50s. So I graduated when I was 58 years old with my doctorate of ministry. Moving forward, God is working through your life. Follow his ministry. Listen to God. Don't listen to man. Listen to God. Now, if it's somebody God's placed in your life, like your parents or your spouse, give heed and take it to God in prayer. That's it on this verse. Stay tuned, because we are getting real close to these prophecies of the last days. Are they for today? You're about to find out. You're about to make up your own mind. God bless you. Please tell others about this ministry. If you like this, please hit the like button. If you want to make a comment, please do so. If you have insights, please do so. Also, you can hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to be informed of more, it's coming up. The little bell button next to it will tell you about all of them as they come up. And please think about clicking on the ads and supporting the people who are supporting this ministry. It does provide money uh, a little bit, not much, uh, each time you do click through on them. And these are the people who are advertising on this channel. So it is kind of nice not only to support them by looking at their product, but also it does give us a small stipend from them as far as payment that you've clicked onto it. I know some people think it's fraud that encourage you to do so, but they are helping. So we'd like to have you help them and help us. View their products, click through, take a look. It does help us. And also read down below in the, uh, the video. It tells how you can support this ministry and help it to it be nonprofit and to go throughout the world. Above all, please pray that God will keep me in good health and make it through the entire verse-by-verse -verse commentary. As I am a working minister, working in the retail setting, a lot of hours. God bless and thank you.